Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about what is application modeler and what is the use of this application modeler. Application modeler is used to create or define model for an application which you want to automate. Application can be Windows application, web application, Java based application, mainframe application, etc. Application modeler is used to spy the elements of an application which helps Blue Prism to identify the elements of that application. And this application modeler can only be created in objects. To create a model for an application, you have to first create an object. Okay, so before that first you have to identify that a specific application which you are going to automate. For that you are going to create a model. So let's say my application is currently web based application. Okay, I'm going to just open a browser. I'm going to just launch a URL like google.com. First we'll go here. We'll click on file, click on new, click on this business objects, click next. Here I'm going to create a objects for this Google, Google website, something like that. Click on next. If you want to enter some description, you can enter here. So I'm going to create a model to identify elements of Google website, right? Now click finish. So here I just have created one objects. Let me just double click and open this one. Now once you'll open this one, by default it comes with initialize, cleanup and one action. Here you can create multiple action. Now on top here you can see application modeler. So if you click on this, it will open the application modeler. That is the wizard, right? And with the help of that, you can start creating, you, you can start defining or creating a new model for that application. So you can see here, we have three options. You can define a new application model. Second, you can share the application model of another object. So if you have any another object that you have, you can select the parent object. Currently, if you have that one, then third, do not use an application model with this object. If you don't want to use an application model for this with this object, click on that. But currently, I'm going to create a application model for this object. So sometimes what happens? You are just creating a, a different different object, but you don't you are not going to create an application model at every time for that object, right? Let's say you have just uh, there is only one main objects you have created and in which you have created a application model now second time you will create a different object but that will be a link with that specific one right so currently i'm going to create a new application modeler just to show you here so my application name is this one google website click on next now here you can see indicate what type of application you are going to use so I have this Windows application, Java based applications, browser based application, it means web applications. And for web applications, you can use multiple browsers like Chrome browser, Firefox browser, Edge Chromium, Internet Explorer, and then we have mainframe application and Citrix applications. You can select anyone. So currently I have this Edge Chromium. So I will click on this browser based. Click on next. Indicate what type of application you are using like a browser which is already running or you are going to launch it from the executor file so this is my first object studio and this time i'm going to launch a browser so i will click on this if if i'll select this one it means always my browser should be open and that specific page should be open right so i will click on the browser that is launched from an executable file click next here you need to enter the path you need to click on browser you can search for that browser right click on that specific browser so this is my microsoft age property that browser properties i can take this name copy and i can paste here and you can see here ms age you can see the, this is the complete path the executable path for that browser which will be opened so now click on next here you can enter the url which you want to 
open at the time of launching that browser this one so I will just copy this URL and I will paste here and click next now it shows that select the application manager mode so I will select default one embedded one click next click finish now you can see we have defined all these details now now it's time to spy the elements like identify the elements and capture all the details of that specific element which will help blue prism or that robot that to identify that elements where you are going to click or like where the uh, the robot is going to click so this is the main model that we have created this application model belongs to this object belongs to this application this browser so if you click on this one it will show you the application name it will show you the browser path which you are going to open here it will show you the path the url and then so now let's click on this here we have the element now one by one you can create element you can identify that one first before identify you have to first launch that browser you have to first launch that application so click on launch so it will launch that browser and that specific url also so you can see that it launched now you can identify this one so first let's say this is the main page like search page so what i will do i will create a name so here we have option add element or add child it means you can categorize these elements here first let's say um, let's say this is the main search page or home page so i can put here a home page and inside that i can create multiple like search page a uh, search this text box this button this icon this one this google search button this i am feeling lucky button these things so now let's say i'm going to put a name for this one that i am going to identify this google for this image okay so i will say this name is google image now how can i identify how can i spy this element the google one so for that i have this option identify we have the list of things a spy element we will click on identify identify it means it's going to spy the element the capture all the details so click on that identify now here you can go one by one so here i'm going to click on this google that image now on the top left side you can see option that you can read those details it shows that using the identification tool browser mode okay so currently we are using browser mode and also if you want to switch the spy mode you have to press alt key from your keyboard so i, I am putting here alt key so it shows that if you are using windows 32 mode it means that is uh, used for application if i am changing this one this is for ui automation mode so somewhere what sometime what happens you are going to identify some elements which is you are not not able to identify that you can change the mode right so here you can see this is the browser mode because we are going to identify the elements of the browser that wave application now these things you need to remember if you are going to apply for the exam for the certification you need to also remember so control and left click to select the highlighted item or control and right click to cancel that so control left click i just click that now you can see here it has captured the details all the details here and now so by default it has taken all the things here now if you just want to see like whatever we have identified here it's correctly identify that or not so we have an option to click on highlight now you can see it means that whatever we have captured that is working fine so why we do let's say currently we have captured the elements of this one google image let's say i'm going to modify something from here so we have alt text as a google and uh, this is the url i'm going to remove this one and then now I'm going to click on highlights. So let's see if it's going to identify or not. So yeah, it's able to identify. So by this way, you can verify this and you can make sure that, okay, this is working fine. Now, second things I'm going to 
indicate on this one so that I can type something here. So I can create a new element for that or I can go inside this one. So I can create a child for that. So this is the part of Google. So inside the Google image, I ha have a different element that is a part of that. It means that is child of this element. So I'll put here search text box. Okay. So this is the best practice whenever you are going to identify any elements just put a meaningful name here of that element so search text button which will help you also whenever after a few months after some time you are going to again uh, fix some things on that application so you can just go and search that now i'm going to click on identify now this time i'll click on this one and then i will press ctrl left click okay now it has capture all the details of that let's identify all these things this is the text area this is the input type is search one and uncheck this one this is the url of this one okay now let's click on highlight now you can see it is highlighting that one it means that is working fine same way you can take one more element which will be for google search so i will write here google search button click on identify i just mouse over on this one press ctrl left click okay now highlight this one it's going to highlight the same button now you can see by this way you can identify the elements you can capture the details of that element now click on ok right so now we have created this application modeler using this application modeler all the elements that we created that we have identified that we can use here inside this object studio and then these actions we can use in process studio